Have you ever wondered what it's like to walk the Camino de Santiago? This isn't just a question of curiosity, but a call to something deeper, something spiritual. The Camino de Santiago or the Way of St. James is more than just a long walk across northern Spain. It's a pilgrimage, a journey that has been undertaken by countless souls for centuries. The Camino de Santiago traces a network of ancient paths stretching across Europe, all converging in the heart of Spain's Galicia region, at the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela. This is believed to be the final resting place of the Apostle St. James. His relics are beacon for pilgrims from all walks of life. But the Camino is not simply about reaching a destination. It's about the journey itself, the transformation that occurs within the pilgrim as they traverse these ancient paths. For many, it's a journey of personal growth, an opportunity to step away from the chaos of everyday life and reflect on their inner self. For others, it's a journey of faith, a physical manifestation of their spiritual beliefs. Walking the same paths that have been traveled by devout pilgrims for over a thousand years, they seek to deepen their connection with their faith, to find solace and peace in the simplicity of the journey. Yet, for some, the Camino is a journey of adventure. It's an opportunity to explore a part of the world steeped in history, to experience a different culture, and to meet like-minded travelers along the way. With every step, they're writing their own story, adding their footprints to the centuries-old path. The Camino de Santiago is a calling, a siren song that resonates within the hearts of those who hear it. It calls to the adventurer, the faithful, the seeker. It's a journey that defies definition, as diverse and varied as the pilgrims who walk its paths. Now imagine you're about to embark on this journey. What could possibly await you? Your journey begins at the foot of the Pyrenees in Saint-Jean-Pied-de-Port. Picture a town untouched by time, with narrow cobblestone streets winding through ancient stone buildings. The scent of freshly baked bread wafts through the air, mingling with the crisp mountain breeze. It's a place that whispers tales of pilgrims past, their echoes resonating in every corner. Saint-Jean-Pied-de-Port, a tranquil haven, serves as the perfect backdrop to prepare for the journey ahead. Here you can take a moment to reflect, to breathe, to gather your thoughts and steady your heart. But don't be fooled by the town's quiet charm, for it sits in the shadow of your first challenge, crossing the Pyrenees. The towering peaks loom in the distance, a stern reminder of the trials to come. As you gaze upon the mountains, you can't help but feel a mix of excitement and apprehension. This is where the real journey begins. The Pyrenees stand majestically before you, a test of your resolve. This mountain range, which forms a natural barrier between France and Spain, is a rite of passage for every pilgrim. The ascent is grueling, a physical challenge that pushes you to your limits. But as you climb, you're rewarded with breathtaking views that seem to stretch on forever, a tableau of rugged beauty that etches itself into your memory. Along the way, you encounter fellow travelers, each with their own stories, their own reasons for undertaking this journey. Some are here seeking spiritual enlightenment, others for the sheer love of adventure. There's a sense of camaraderie that forms on the trail, a bond forged in the crucible of shared experience. You help each other, encourage each other, share meals and stories and laughter. As you descend into Roncesvalles, you realize that the journey is as much about the people you meet as the places you see. Beyond the mountains, the path stretches out before you, winding through fields, vineyards and ancient towns. You rise with the sun, your heart pounding in anticipation of the day's journey. Your feet, weathered and worn, carry you along the Camino, a faithful companion in your spiritual quest. Each day is a rhythm, a dance of sorts. You walk, mile after mile, your pace dictated by the rising and setting of the sun. You embrace the simplicity of the routine, the comforting predictability that comes with each new dawn. Along the way you find sustenance in the most humble of places, a small bakery in a sleepy town, a roadside stand offering refreshments, a kind stranger sharing his meal. The food is simple, yet every bite seems to carry a flavor of the land, a taste of the journey. As the day wanes, you seek shelter for the night. From rustic albergers to quaint bed and breakfasts, each place offers a safe haven to rest and rejuvenate. The camaraderie of fellow pilgrims, their stories and laughter, fill the evenings with warmth and companionship. But the Camino is not just about walking. It's a journey of introspection, a pilgrimage of the mind. The solitude of the road, the vastness of the landscape, they all lead to a deepening sense of self-awareness. 
the physical fatigue, the mental monotony. They challenge you, test your resolve, and push you to your limits. Yet in those moments of struggle you find strength, resilience and a newfound appreciation for the simple act of moving forward. The Camino is a mirror, reflecting back to you your strengths and weaknesses, your fears and hopes. It's a teacher imparting lessons of patience, perseverance and humility. And above all, it's a journey that transforms you, reshaping your understanding of yourself and your place in the world. Each step brings you closer to Santiago, but you realize that the journey is not just about reaching the destination. The Camino de Santiago is an experience, a pilgrimage of the heart and soul, that stays with you long after the journey's end. Finally, after weeks of walking, you see the spires of the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela. It's a sight that fills your heart with joy and relief. The journey is long and arduous, but this moment makes every step worth it. It's not just a physical destination you've reached, it's a spiritual homecoming, a testament to your resilience, your determination and your faith. As you approach the cathedral, an overwhelming sense of camaraderie washes over you. You are not alone, you are part of a community of pilgrims, each with their own stories, their own struggles, their own triumphs. There's a shared understanding, a mutual respect, a collective celebration. You've walked this path together, you've weathered the storms together, and now, you've arrived together. The cathedral itself stands majestic, its spires reaching for the heavens. It's an architectural marvel, but more than that, it's a beacon of hope, a symbol of spiritual fulfillment. You can't help but marvel at its grandeur, yet it's the sense of peace it radiates that truly moves you. This isn't just a building, it's the culmination of your pilgrimage, the physical manifestation of your spiritual journey. Attending the Pilgrim's Mass is an experience unlike any other. The air is thick with anticipation, the pews filled with pilgrims from all walks of life. As the Mass begins, you can feel the air vibrate with collective emotion. Prayers, hymns and blessings fill the cathedral, creating a symphony of faith that resonates deep within your soul. It's a moment of reflection, of gratitude, of connection. And then standing in the bustling square amidst the laughter, the tears, the shared stories, you have an epiphany. This journey, this pilgrimage, it's not just about traveling across a country. It's about embarking on a journey within. It's about self-discovery, about pushing your limits, about finding your purpose. It's about realizing that the destination is not just a place, but a state of mind. As you stand in the bustling square, you realize that you have not just traveled across a country, but also embarked on a journey within. What does it mean to walk the Camino de Santiago? It's a question that resonates deep within the souls of countless pilgrims who have embarked on this path. The Camino de Santiago is not just a physical journey, but a voyage of introspection and self-discovery. As one traverses the rugged landscapes of northern Spain, each step becomes a mirror reflecting one's inner self. The physical exertion, the joy of accomplishment, the solitude, the camaraderie, all these elements coalesce into a profound spiritual experience. This journey is a metaphorical mirror, reflecting our strengths, our weaknesses, our triumphs and our failures. It's an invitation to delve deeper into our very being, to grapple with existential questions, to seek answers, and to find our place in the grand scheme of things. The Camino de Santiago is not just a trail across Spain. It is a journey of the soul, a pilgrimage that begins long before the first step and continues long after the last.